Hi, I'm Liv and we are doing a Trafford Centre haul. So recently I did go to the Trafford Centre and I did pick up a few items. Now I know I did my spring haul not long ago, but that was accumulated over a few months. I just want to add so that I don't look like a crazy shopper, because I'm not. I went to the Trafford Centre and when you're at the Trafford Centre, obviously you're going to spend a little bit. Um, and I did. I didn't go crazy, I didn't go overboard, but I did buy things that I knew I'd love. Um, and yeah, that's all there is to it. So I'm gonna get on and show you. I'm gonna get on with it and show you what I got. Well, first of all, got some makeup y items, some high end, some not so high end. So, first of all, I got the Essie nail polish. Now, it looks like this it's a coral sparkly nail polish, and it is in the shade Sunday Fun Day. I think it's just such a cute shade. It's very summery and very summery in fact very spring and summery i just think it's so cute and it really really i just love it i love that color it's the 2010s color because we used to wear coral and turquoise together i know everyone now is going "Ooh, why did we do that it was awful i don't think it was i really loved it um side rant but yeah i love coral it's, it's honestly so summery to me it's one of my summer colors so we've got some foundation so this is the Too Faced born this way matte foundation and i got mine in the shade swan uh, this is meant to be a 24 hour long wear foundation and i hope it is i know it's matte because i put a bit on the back of my hand and blended it out just to check double check it was exactly the same as the other Too Faced foundation which the colours are the same obviously but I wanted to check and I put it on the back of my hand and I went to like, do this to try and get it off and it would not budge for well until I washed my hands um so I know that it's matte I know that it like doesn't move when you touch it um which is amazing so I, w I do want to try this out and whilst I got this I was thinking I could do a testing five foundations video so I was thinking of testing five drugstore foundations and five high-end foundations and doing five days of wearing them and do a battle of the foundations video battle of the brushes battle of the, the contours battle of the lipsticks anything like that battle of lip glosses um just to have a bit of fun with makeup because i do love makeup i just don't do it tons on this channel because i don't really know what to do um and there's only so many times you can do your everyday makeup tutorial <laughs> before it gets boring i got that i'm really excited to try it if i get enough products with whatever i buy next i might do a full phase of products that I have never used before um but yeah I do like doing makeup and I will be doing makeup videos on here so if you're wanting to see that tell me down below um if you've got any recommendations tell me down below <laughs> um I also got a bronzer or contour product and this is the chocolate soleil long wear matte bronzer now I am a matte bronzer girl I love it I'm not a glowy bronzer girl um I have some and I do use them in the summer but I'm just not a massive glowy bronzer person i feel like a matte contour kind of that looks crazy right now but that's just my glasses i'm more of a matte bronzer person as you can see matte contour um i love it way more i think it just looks better on me i've got the chocolate soleil Too faced contour product um and this is how it looks it's very cute it's super cute and it just looks like that this was very expensive um smells like chocolate i love it i indented it a bit with my finger earlier by accident but that's how it looks very very pretty very chic and this was 27 pounds so for me that contour is kind of really expensive <laughs> so it better be bloody good the essie nail polish was 7.99 and the foundation was 34 pounds or 32 no 34 pounds i also got a kylie product and i've been loving kylie products recently i really like the lip glosses they're one of my favorites alongside the Too Faced lip glosses and the fenty lip glosses and i feel like they're really affordable i also love how she's changed her brand and she's like really amped up or well, amped up the heat on how good her products are and really changed up the formulation so this is a kylie jenner product it's a blusher in the shade oh that's so strange they don't have the shade names on the actual product they only have them on the box um baddie on the block do they have it written anywhere else no oh my god that is so strange oh my god i'm so thick it was literally written across the middle but because it wasn't in big lettering i literally just didn't read it but it is on the back it's baddie on the block and it's got this cute little drip marks on the paper paper the plastic you put in there and that's how it looks it's super cute a corally blush definitely up my street 
um, and I'm very excited to try it. I am thinking of doing a full face of Kylie makeup video one day. Um, obviously it won't be full full face because there's no eyeshadow. I don't use eyeshadow anymore anyway because I wear glasses. Um, there is no foundation or concealer, but there is the other stuff. So I'm thinking of having a go at using all Kylie products. That was 18 pounds. I think it might just be me, but I find her products really cute and like really ditzy and dainty. I just, I don't know, I just, I just like them a lot. The next thing I got was some stuff from Lush. So I, I was in traffic, but I had to buy some Lush products. We don't have a Lush, a Lush store near me. Um, exciting thing, when I go to uni, there is a Lush shop down the road. Um, less exciting, I don't have a bath in my uni accommodation. <laughs> so when I get products, I will be going home to take them. But well, I'll take them home and I'll use them here because um, I am coming home at the weekends. I am not, you know, not having a bath. <laughs> I love baths. Flamingo egg, I first, well, Okay, let's just restart that. Firstly, I got Flamingo Egg. Now this one was about five pounds. It is from their Easter collection and they are discontinuing this because it was just around for Easter collection. I, what? Oh, one of the gems dropped off, oops. I love this, I think it smells, oh great. It smells both um, sweet and fresh. Um, and that's why I like this. Um, it's blue and pink and I think it's really cute. I think it's really like bubblegum cute. Um, and it's got little gems on the front, little glittery gems. It's also very glittery, just to let you know. Very glittery. And if I remember correctly, it was really pretty in the bath. Um, but yeah, that's what the first one I got. I then got my favorite, which is Intergalactic. This one has my absolute all time favorite smell. This is what it looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has all the galaxy colors on it and it's just so pretty. It smells incredibly minty and fresh and smell eucalyptus. Very minty, very fresh and I really love it. It kind of smells like chewing gum. Um, I just love it. It's very, very fresh. And to me, it's an all year round bath bomb. Now they do sell intergalactic, galactic? intergalactic all year round so if it's one that you want to try out i'd say go for it because it's a well it's it's always there next i got toby's magic cow and this one i got because of both the smell and what it looks like well that's why i got most of them but <laughs> again like the intergalactic i got this for both um this one is a much more a little bit more subtle a little bit more chilled smell it smells i got smoke my nose well it smells like a clean bathroom. Yeah, it really smells like a clean bathroom. And I think Magic, Toby's Magic Cow is kind of one that sticks around. I've seen it in my Lush for the last six months, I'd say. Um, might be a bit longer actually. But yeah, I think it's like one that stays and I'm really, really happy it's gonna stay, um, if it does, because all these colors around the sides, as you can see, come out in the bath. It's a rainbow one. It's very pretty. If you are a visual person and you love pretty colors, I would definitely recommend it. It smells very sleepy and relaxing. Um, it's brilliant, I love it. And this one was about four pounds. I've got the prices here actually. Flamingo Egg was five pound, Intergalactic was five pound. Toby's Magic Cow, I think was about five pound or maybe four. I'm not too sure. Um, Cause that's not on that receipt. So I got that later on. The last one I've got is called Lakes. Now this is a new one I've not seen. It's not new in Lush. I just have never used it. And it smells amazing. I've got to say Intergalactic was 5.50. Um, and this one it was five pounds. So this is Lakes. It's got green and pink areas on it and it's turquoise and it's got a lot of glitter. So this one smells very sweet and very minty, but it's very much like Avo bath, but with a lot more sweet in it, um, which I really like. Very fresh. With all my bathrooms, the one thing that sticks is that I want them to all smell really fresh. I just love them. I, I love it when they smell fresh. <laughs> Everything I got from Lush. Moving on to clothing. First shop I went into was Pull and Bear and I got two t-shirts. So I love the t-shirts in Pull and Bear. For a start, they are £9.99, which is absolutely brilliant, really affordable. And also they're really cute. So the first one I got was a, I'd say more fitted cropped t-shirt, similar to my H&M one. And this is what it looks like. And it says warm energy, true wish. And it's got planets, uh, the moon, the sun. It's just really pretty and quite like a, 
it's a simple but graphic tee and i love that it's in black and white because those are my staple colors if you couldn't tell already that's what it looks like very cute very very cute i love it the second one i got was this one in black because i want to be able to wear this at college and the uniform is black so i can wear this and it's got mainly black and white with some blue and pink and it says enjoy every day and it has the moon phases and an eye the sun behind it's very much like a witchy tarot style t-shirt and again it's a cropped one and then it says at the bottom day and night tomorrow will be great and again we have the moon phases at the bottom in pink i just think it's really cute it's definitely up my street and yeah they were both 9.99 10 pound from pull and bath the next thing i got might be a bit difficult to show um but i got some jeans from new look and these were 26 pound 99 and they are normal jeans everywhere these are the quinn jeans they're normal jeans until we get to the ends and they flare out They're quite normal at the top and then instead of going straight down they flare out into boot cart flared sort of pants and these are just some as i said boot cart flared jeans i have recently been loving the flares coming back only in jeans though i'm not really keen on leggings being flared because i just i'm not a big fan of that um but i love these these are honestly one of my favorite pairs of jeans right now i just feel like they really go with my a silhouette i think they're really cute and i think they're really like adorable also i think i've kind of been influenced by footloose because i went to go and watch it and ever since i've been obsessed with cowboy boots and flares and skinny jeans i was already obsessed with skinny jeans like, so let's be fair they're really cute i would recommend if you're gonna get a pair to definitely shop in the short department if you are five foot two five foot three or under because i tried these on knowing like having no knowledge that they were in the short department and i was like oh they fit they, they're just you know the right length and then i found that they were in the short department the short section so i feel like definitely go for the short ones because they fit me perfectly with my trainers and i feel like if i went for the regular size i would have kind of been dragging on the floor which i did not want um but yeah i think they're very cute and they were 26 pound 99 which i can't argue with for jeans the next thing i got was another denim fabric and this is from next and it is a skirt so this is what it looks like it's a mini skirt it's got buttons all the way down i just think it's really adorable i love that there's buttons all the way down because i don't find many of these skirts it was 16 pound and i think it's really cute now one of the reasons i love it is because this is so versatile i can wear it in the summer with well, either tights and some office shoes or trainers and some normal socks or i can wear it in the winter with tights and ugg boots or tights and trainers or whatever or boots i just think it's really really versatile but the only issue i have with it is if you have big hips or a big bum denim skirts can be hard to get past your bum and your hips um, i know i had some issue and it kept riding up a little bit when i walked um when i walked around because um it rides up when you walk <laughs> a little bit so that can be a little bit of an issue but it doesn't come up too far um but just be wary of that just be wary <laughs> i love mine though um and i will probably get used to it a bit more but i think it's really cute and it was from next the next item i got was from hollister I'm just in love with hollister so much and this is the first thing i got it is a dress it's a velvet dress it's so flowy and swishy it's just really cute <laughs> look at it it's just so cute and i got this in my regular size and it's just really pretty and it's got this material which is genuinely velvet and you can see it's like very silky and it's got the sheen on it it's a velvet material and it's just a slip dress really with a skater type end to it where it flares out a little bit so this i got in my regular size medium and then it says short so I'm guessing this was in the short section, but I, I didn't know until now, like <laughs> until I got home. But this I got quite good deals on. So this was meant to be £29 and I was at peace with that. I saw it and I thought it's worth it. This is the only dress I found in here, which is this. This is the only one I found, the only dress of its kind, only, only one that I found. I didn't find any of the sizes. I didn't find any other in this size. It was just this one left on a hanger. So I went up to the till and it, and when she scanned it, it immediately came up as 18 99 and I thought, has that been marked down? And I didn't even know. Great, that's cool. And then it said additional savings and it went down to £13. 
13 pound from 29 pound is amazing it's it's honestly brilliant i can't even but it was like it's, it's amazing <laughs> and i can't believe i got this for 13 pound from hollister i just think it's really cute it's definitely gonna be great on a night out and great with knee high boots very 90s inspired and i can just see myself wearing it so much i'm in love with it it's great <laughs> Next thing I got, I have put on a hanger to show you, and it is from Hollister. And this is just a milkmaid type blouse. Now it is a cropped blouse, so if you wanted to get this, be bear in mind it is a cropped one. And I do wear my high waisted jeans with this just because it's quite a bit cropped that I'm really like comfortable with. So I wear my high waisted jeans because it just covers up a lot more. So if that that's a trick that I usually do. And yeah, this is how it looks. It's got not much runching, but it's kind of runched here and it's very very lightweight these are the sleeves they're very balloon and they have this at the ends which makes them it's really like cottage core vibes and that's how it looks and then on the back we have these two strands which you tie together at the back to make a bow and it just hangs there i love wearing these with my um i have worn this with my um my jeans and it just looks so cute and so 70s I just think it's really really a cute top and I got this for £20 on sale from £29 so that, that's pretty good going. The last thing I got is from Hollister again and it's this shirt so a little saga with this shirt. I first of all bought it online and I got it in a medium, did not fit me whatsoever, it was awful, it just did not work, it wasn't fitting right, it didn't look right, it was so long and so I sent it back um, in store, I took it back and as I was walking around I saw it again and I thought, just, let's just see if I size down. It took me extra small and I put it up against me and it looked pretty much like it would fit me. So I took it to the changing room, had a go, and it fit me perfectly. And I mean, perfectly to a T. And I tried it and I tucked it into my jeans and I just fell in love with this shirt and I had so many ideas. So this is exactly the kind of shirt I was looking for. I just had it in the wrong size. Um, so I sized down twice for this. I sized to an, an extra small and it fits me perfectly. I got this for 15 from 29, so I had savings on it to 20, and then I used a five pound off um, Club Cali, Club Cali <laughs> rewards on it, so I got it for 15. And I think it's just really cute, and I just think it's to die for. It's very flowy and swishy. I just think it's so adorable and I can wear it again all year round which is all I can really ask for. That was everything I have bought from Trafford and I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you want to see more hauls I will link up below the spring video which had my spring haul and if you want to see more fashion videos I did do a couple fashion videos on trends if you want to go check them out and I'm thinking of doing a couple more so if you have any suggestions down below of any topics or anything you want to talk about um, then 100% tell me down below. I hope you have enjoyed the video and if you have subscribed down below and click the thumbs up button and tell me some suggestions for video ideas down below or anything you want to tell me, um, anything you liked in this haul or anything you want to say and I'll see you guys next week Wednesday at 6pm with another video. Bye!